What's up, peoples? Welcome back to the Al York Sports Show, Behind the Scenes. Y'all already know what it is. I got JY, a.k.a. The Specialist. The Specialist. Yo, we're going to give it to them, man. But let me give a couple of shout-outs before we get going, man. Shout-out to Las Vegas. Vegas Strong, Vegas Nice, Vegas Aces, Vegas Raiders. Did I miss anybody? The, uh, uh, what is it, uh, the, the Dome Team Football? <laughs> I don't even know who Oh, you don't even know who it is. It's not even that important. Shout out to Alphabet City, CWN Sports, the Round Table, everybody on the Round Table, from Noah Parker, Moneyline Guy, Justin Yu, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that's involved with us, you know what I mean? Crystal Lynn, everybody, you know how we do it, man. Shout out also to the East Coast, West Coast, and let's get right into it. JY, yes, UFC, sir. big card on Saturday. You the specialist on my joint for this. Talk to him. Well, we have a, a, a special card this weekend. It yeah. starts early, so tune in early. I believe, what is it, uh, 12.30, noon? Right. noon. So, now, the undercards, of course, are first, yeah, right? of course. Okay, go through each fighter. Then you're going to give us Celine so that they could try to make some money, man. That's yeah, they want to try to make a couple dollars. That's what I'm here right, for, so baby. Talk to him, baby. So the specialist for the first fight. On the undercard, we got the featherweight bout, 145 pounds, Josh Emmett versus Michael Johnson. Okay. Emmett ranked number 10, Michael Johnson unranked. Unranked, okay. Yeah, yeah. What's the line on that, brother? So we got Josh Emmett, the ranked cat, minus 120, and Michael Johnson, the veteran, he's at minus, uh, about a pick him, minus 100. Yeah, yeah, so he's out of pick him. Okay, well, any reason why you think that fight is so low for the ranked individual? Because... How do you get a ranked guy and an unranked guy and that line so low? Any specific reason? Yeah, I'm glad you asked. You know, he's coming off of a big knockout loss right. to uh, Jeremy Stevens and Michael Johnson's on a two-fight win streak. He's a durable veteran, so he's got the skills. He's got the skills for an upset, I believe, but right. I'm going to lean towards Emmett. Cinderella? Yeah, no, no. Hey, in a fight, all it takes is one punch, one right, submission, right, right, right. that's it, but... I'm going to lean towards Josh Emmett because he's ranked number 10. And even though he had a brutal KO loss, I think he jumps back on and gets his win in the in the octagon. Okay, so, so uh, you got him at what, 120? 120, minus 120. Minus 120, that's the first center call fight. Go to the second center call fight. Second one, this is in the middleweight division, 185 pounds. Number 11th ranked, David Branch from, okay. from New York. Are you from NY? <laughs> he's from NY. NY. All right. Versus Jack Hermanson, who I believe is from Sweden. So okay. it was a little ways away from, from New York. but <laughs> So we got David Branch as the underdog, minus 105 versus Jack Hermanson, minus right. 125. Right, talk to them, though, Jay. You look 125. Okay, Let them know. Okay. Let them know. So yeah. minus 125 for right. Jack Hermanson. Right. Nicknamed the Joker. I'm going to roll with him because he's a younger guy. He's on the rise. Two-fight win streak. David Branch off of a KO loss. So right, that's right. My so play. what's the line on that? Uh, minus 125, Jack Hermanson. Jack Hermanson, minus 125. That's fight number two. two. Yes. I go to fight number three. And I save the best for last. Fight number <laughs> three, main event. Two strikers, Edson Barboza, ranked number six in the lightweight division versus number eight, Justin Gagey. Mm. Who I've actually seen in Vegas. I think he trains out here sometimes. Right. But mostly in Colorado. Nice guy, very nice guy. Uh, but he's up against a machine in Edson Barbosa, 20 and six record, coming off of a brutal knockout win. Justin Gagey, 19 and two. He's the underdog plus at plus 110, and he's coming off of a KO win too. Right, 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 so, right, right, right. All roads lead to maybe a KO in this fight. <laughs> oh wow! So uh, who are we liking in this fight? Uh, I'm gonna lean with the favorite, Edson Barbosa. Barbosa battle tested. He fought Khabib. Took him to the distance, which nobody thought would happen. Right, right. Took Khabib's punishment. An yeah, he's an animal, and this cat took him to the distance. Yeah, that's, that's, that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot. You know and he's mean? got some highlight reels that are insane. But, hey, Justin Gagey is a brawler. One punch can end, end the night quick. But I'm going to stick with Edson Barboza with the experience in big fights. Okay, now real quick, give them one, two, three, from, from the first one to the third one. Yes. The fighter. And the pricing on the fight, so they don't know what to do when they go to okay. the window. Okay, fight number one on the undercard, Josh Emmett at minus 120. So Emmett, Josh Emmett, remember that, minus 120, go. Minus 120. Second fight, we have Jack Hermanson, minus 125. Jack Hermanson, minus a one and a quarter. One and a quarter, correct. And the main event, Edson Barboza at minus 140. 
by Bosa minus 140. That's the main event, right? Yes. Okay, so y'all got all the three fights. Hopefully, we're hopefully trying to go at least two and one. I know he wants to clean the board, but with a 201, we'd be happy. He's already three and one as we speaking. They're all documented. Ain't no BSing. Look at the video, especially the behind the scenes, the one I do him in, individually. The ones we do individually, all the picks are there. Now, real fast, um, a lot of, lot of stuff going on about this cat I'm about to bring up. And uh, I had some Facebook friends hit me up yeah. wondering what's going on with this cat. Right. And the cat name is Conor McGregor. I want you to talk to the peoples. He just retired. So I want the specialist that, because you know a little more than what we know. What's your reasoning thinking he retired? Like, what's your reasoning, your personal reasoning? And, and why he's saying he retired? So give us both perspectives. You know, there's there's a lot of stories floating around, you know, stemming from, I believe, some kind of uh, assault case, you know, possibly like, you know, sexual assault case. Wow. Um, you know, he's, he's, I believe he, he attacked somebody recently just for taking taking a, a video of him, you know, coming out Yo, of... Is uh, he really nuts? Is he bipolar, son? Because he was chasing a motherfucker one time and threw a chair <laughs> out of bus or some shit. Yeah, but that was for show. That was more of a staging oh, for the oh, fight. Oh, yeah, WWE yeah, shit. Yeah, that was some oh, okay, WWE okay. shit. But it kind of uh, took a turn for the worse when 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 glass broke from the bus and stuff. But right. this is a little more serious. He was caught on camera attacking a bystander, just you know, filming paparazzi style. Yeah, well, GP just wild out. Yeah, on him, right? but you know, he's he was leaving. It just didn't look good for him because he was leaving a hotel really late at night. Who knows what he was doing? Maybe. You know, people are assuming he wasn't up to any good. Right, so. right, right. <laughs> is he getting high, like, on Montana or something, or he's just drinking or what? Hey, you never know, man. The guy, the guy's got all the money in the world now. He's living a little. He's living his life now. You know, right, he doesn't right. have to train. He's taking a little step back from mixed martial arts. I mean, the mixed martial arts worlds. In, right. And in, how old is this guy, bro? How old is he? Uh he's in his upper twenties, man. Damn, uh, so he might. This might be. Maybe like a, a retirement, maybe for like a year, so he can yeah, get right, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you yeah. think he's completely done? No, no, no. I don't think he's completely like done. Like a temporary retirement. Temporary, temporary. Okay, yeah, because I'm Everybody, like, yeah, this guy got a lot of money, a lot of, yeah. lot of money to go get still. You know what I'm saying? MMA is a brutal sport. Look at John Jones, the champion. Right. He was, he took a break. I mean, not by his own choice. You know, he was suspended, right. but at the same time, I think it did him. Did him well. Did him justice. He recovered from, you know, the inner demons that he had. Right, right. Came back, trained, trained harder, and now he's got the belts again. Right, so right. So I think well, he's taking a break, and McGregor comes back, and he's going to be stronger. Got you. Now, there's a rumor going on that uh, he was harassing Floyd Mayweather and trying to get a fight, too, between McGregor and Mayweather. But me and you knowing that, you know, me and you knowing Mayweather, he already bust his nuts. So there's nothing in there for him. Yeah, the exactly. If exactly. anything, that second fight's only going to benefit McGregor. Yeah. That don't do nothing <laughs> for Mayweather. So you yeah, know Mayweather exactly. ain't taking part of that. No, 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 no. Yeah, so what you heard about that? As far as uh, him trying to holler at May May Mayweather. Uh, I mean, I believe he did some tweets, you know, reached out to, to Mayweather, and Mayweather just shrugged it off. Right. But, I mean, in the long run, I don't think it's going to happen. Mayweather already already took care of his business. Right, right. They both made a lot of money over it, you know. And that was it. And I think if they were to do a rematch, it would just be the same thing as the first. First of all, so. I didn't even watch the first <laughs> one really. I probably watched like three rounds. Like they say, history repeats itself, and it's two different sports. You right, know? right, right, right. One I mean, the only way I watch it if Mayweather goes into his ring. Yeah, hey, that would be interesting. Yeah, because he went to Mayweather's way of yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah. Like if Mayweather decides to go to Connor's game, yeah, I'll probably watch that. Well, it's like you any... get to see Mayweather get hit. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> then all, all the haters, make it then hit, all man. the haters gonna love it. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys. So y'all heard it from Justin Yu, the specialist. He gave y'all three UFC fights. We went through the Connor McGregor. Now we going to the MLB, and let me move back. Woo! You think they can see the NY? And why, baby? Y'all see the NY, baby? Baseball season. All y'all met dudes, I don't care how good y'all think y'all, y'all can never see us. <laughs> but let's get going. Let's start with the MLB. Let's start with the American League. I got a couple teams that I like. Okay. A couple things okay. they did. I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you can never discount Boston Red Sox. They just won a chip. 
Yeah. They basically still yep. got all their pieces from the championship win. Still stacked. Yeah, still so stacked. they had 108 wins last year. Ooh. So, of course, they got to be the favorites. <laughs> Even though I think they got the Yankees as the favorite. I don't know why. I guess because the Yankees just so well known. But to me, I, yeah. me, I'm giving Boston the favorite, too. Somebody knocks some more. Okay. That's how I'm okay. looking at it. Now, the Yankees did a lot of great things. Yankees picked up James Paxson, wow, a pitcher wow. from Seattle. Yep. J.A. Happ now is going to be with us a whole year. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, we got D.J. LeMatthew from Colorado, a good second baseman. Troy Tulewiski a toss-up because he's an injury-prone individual. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. He's like a veteran, man. He's a veteran on the team. Yeah, I love Mr. Troy uh, Tulewiski. And we also picked up uh, Adovino, a reliever from Colorado, number zero. Who, that's a great number for okay. him because he's earned on average is close to zero. <laughs> like, yeah, so perfect, perfect reliever. Yeah, so Yankees did really good on the offseason. We lost a few cats. I think Robinson was one of them, with, which Robert Adovino is going to spell Robinson anyway. I mean, easily spell yeah, Robinson. Yeah, they, the, they filled the holes with the pickups. Yeah, so the Yankees sure. did really good, you yeah. know, and I wish we would have got Jacob DeGrom from the Mets. That's the guy I really wanted in the offseason. I think he would have made it, he would have solidified the number one spot. On the Yankees rotation because we got a bunch of two threes. Yeah. Even Michelle Tanaka, who I like a lot, <laughs> I like him as a number two. Yeah, I'd put DeGrom above that. Yeah, all DeGrom day. would be one all day, but exactly. unfortunately that didn't happen. Right. Mets we signed him, so we're going to work with what we got. Now, Houston Astros made one huge pickup. They picked up outfielder Michael Brantley to help out the outfield, which they already uh -huh. got a strong outfield. Right, right, they right. They got their pitching. So Houston's basically going in with what they went in with last, last year, year and with yeah. the championship team the year before. So they all stacked. Yankees got better. I like the Yankees to come out if nobody gets injured. Everybody played. Judge played a whole year. John Collins played a whole right. year. And we got a kid named Voigt that we picked up from St. Louis last year who's supposed to be really good. Okay. You know, he played last year a little fourth, but now he get a whole season in. Now, real fast, we got about a minute and a half. National League, you got the Dodgers, the Phillies, the Cubs, Milwaukee, Atlanta. And the Mets. The Mets did a lot of great things. I'm going to talk about the Mets. <laughs> I'm going to give you all. We got one minute. Got I'm going to skip all these teams. I'm going to go to the Mets. About the Mets. Yeah, all the right. Mets picked up Robinson Cano, Edwin Diaz. Okay. Uh, Alfred Keon, Braxton, uh, uh, Wilson Ramos, catcher, and pitcher Luis Avalon. Mets did a lot of great things. They re signed Jacob things. DeGrom. They got the Thor. Thor's hopefully, hopefully healthy again. The Mets are going to be real good. I hate to say that because these guys hate on my Yankees, especially in New York. Yeah. But I give props and props due. Y'all did a lot of great things, but y'all still got to perform because as of right now, y'all paper champions. Y'all like the <laughs> Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns got all these guys, but until they could do it on the field. Right, 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 right. It don't mean a damn thing. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. Last year, they didn't do so well. So this season... A lot of expectations with the pickups, right? Yeah, they got and the re -signings. real good pickups. And I think Cano yeah. is going to be real good. As he showed yesterday, he hit a home run off Scherzer yeah. and got another hit. He actually had both RBIs and that two-zip yeah. win. So he already started out real good. And, you know, the Phillies got Bryce Harper, Gene Segura, Milwaukee picked up Grando. Uh, they signed uh, Moose Mucasas for another okay. year. Yeah, they, so, they, they, you know, everybody stacked up. The Dodgers got Seagull back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So everybody's doing their thing. It's going to be tough. I'm not going to give y'all all predictions. <laughs> I'm just going to stay with that. The Yankees will make noise once again, and we'll go further in the playoffs this year. You know this is going to happen for real. I mean, we are stacked. <laughs> yeah, Yankees are stacked. So thank you guys for tuning in. The Al Your Sports Show. We got Justin Yu, a.k.a. The Specialist. Don't forget to tune in Sunday, 11 Pacific, 2 Eastern. On the Al York Sports Show, we're going to go live. We're going to have it on Zeno.fm, CWN Sports on our podcast. Tune in, enjoy, and enjoy nothing but the raw truth. We'll get right back to y'all. Al York Sports and my the man, specialist. the specialist, baby. We hit, hit us up, get up, do what y'all got to do. Love y'all.